Welcome to the garage. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about this neat little gearbox adapter plate kit I designed and have been using for a couple of years now on my Sierra Coupe race car. And will surely be using for at least a couple of other projects as well. So a couple of years ago, me and my buddies started building a Ford Sierra Coupe race car. I wanted to use the no, Pedrin's I wanted to use the Cologne engine and the strong, reliable gearbox that would be. I wanted to use the Sedi. Sedi. In Pochati. I wanted to use the Cologne engine along with some strong and reliable gearbox that would be able to handle pretty much anything with throw at it. It didn't take much scientific struggles to envision some 3.0 turbo diesel gearbox handling the 300 horsepower we were aiming at here. Long story short, here we've developed, tried and tested a gearbox adapter plate kit to mate the Cologne V6 engines with the bulky ZF gearbox, which also happens to fit the older Getrag gearboxes. So why the BMW gearbox exactly? Well, out of better and worse things BMW company produces, they do make some pretty good gearboxes. This is very evident in drifting, for example, where the engine and the gearbox and everything in between are subject to proper beating each round. And these very boxes just tend to keep up with the abuse, which has gotten them pretty good reputation over the years. BMW has mastered the rear wheel drive cars production. And putting the bad things aside, they really seem to nail down the gearboxes. These units are first of all widely used between different models, and more importantly, they're strong as hell. They were manufactured by two major brands, the ZF and Getrag. For now, we are focusing on the manual gearboxes, which are, at the time of this recording, plentiful and easy to acquire. I've designed the gearbox adapter plate kit with simplicity in mind, so I could easily replicate it and, as you will see, use it on the different engine gearbox combinations. That means minimal machining work and the ability to revert back to the original Ford setup if needed or desired. So let's dive straight into it. So the engines this adapter plate kit will bolt on to are Cologne V6 engine. I'm using the 2.9 liter version on my car, but I guess the bolt pattern the same for smaller displacement V6s also. I have also checked on my 4 liter OHV Cologne engine and the adapter plate kit fits perfectly. Next we have the Cosworth V6 engines. We'll leave the Cosworth racing engines aside, but the Cosworth BOA and BOB engines found in some Ford Scorpio models will go hand in hand with this kit. I have checked on my Cosworth BOB engine and everything fits. These might very well be the most interesting engines to go with this adapter plate kit. Not only because of the highest horsepower rating out of uh, all of these engines here, but more importantly because pretty much all the Ford Scorpios with the Cosworth engines originally came with automatic gearboxes, which some automotive enthusiasts simply don't appreciate. There, I said it. Now let's see what's the original manual gearbox selection for these engines. So the early Cologne engines came equipped with a Type 9 gearbox. They also had some even older transmissions, but we won't go there today. So the earlier Cologne engines came with the Type 9 gearbox and the latter ones came with the newer MT75 gearbox. Some people swear by them and we even had a guy in the comments claiming abusing the MT75 on drift track with 400 horsepower, which is impressive to say the least, given the original highest horsepower for these was optimistic 150 horsepower. However, on the other hand, I have heard guys claiming problems on higher horsepower applications, the third gear being the weakest link. But anyways, fact of the matter is, these are getting rare and more and more expensive. 
the hard to get status raise their price and getting a used one always is a gamble of course the parts will be eventually hard to get and if you found some they probably won't be cheap anyways to get to the point as a real wheel drive drivers we got a massively produced strong gearbox available and that's where i'm coming from another reason to go with the bmw gearbox is the option of six speed transmission which MT75 and Type 9 gearboxes simply didn't have. Now BMW being specialized in real wheel dry applications has many transmissions to offer. We're going to concentrate on the ones with this kind of bolt pattern here. I'm not sure what to call this uh, bolt pattern, let's say, but you'll find them by the names of ZFGS 39DZ, ZFS531, S5D, etc. I have collected a few of them as you can see and I can guarantee the fitment for these but I'm sure all of them with this kind of bolt pattern and the star motor position have the exact mounting dimensions however beware of this kind of bolt pattern the box looks very similar but as you can see here the starter position is different see so this adapter plate kit will not fit on these bolt pattern gearboxes you see the starter motor position here is different than on these So let's evaluate the different options we got here. First we got the Getrag 5 speed. This is the earlier version of BMW transmission. You will find it on earlier E36s and E46s. Also the different part numbers will fit just fine. You just have to make sure as mentioned that this bolt pattern is this shape. Visually this box is much smaller and also much lighter than its successor, the ZF. Something to keep in mind if the Cologne engine is already heavy enough for your build. But reportedly, these are also very strong units, capable of handling much abuse. Maybe some BMW guys can confirm this or correct me in the comments. Next up, we got the ZF 5-speed. Now this is an absolute unit very big and sturdy i'm using one like this in the sierra coupe and it works great these can be found in various chassis e36 e46 e34 e39 z3s and many others you'll have a hard time breaking one of these these are very very strong and have a very good reputation another difference between the older style and newer style gearboxes is this uh, gear shifting mechanism uh, is essentially the same but the newer one as you can see is mounted here on two pivot points while the older one has only one pivot point on this fixture here here are some part numbers for reference i'm not sure if these are the part numbers there's quite a lot of numbers on these and i'm not really sure what to make of them some numbers are the same between the boxes and some are all different some of these might just be numbers of the castings but anyways these are the numbers i got here just for reference so the zf in comparison to the track is bigger stronger and it's got a bigger stronger clutch something to keep in mind if you're aiming for higher horsepower and last but not least ZF. Six speed. These are just as strong as 5 speed versions with the obvious advantage of the extra gear. These are a bit longer as you can see here and also a bit heavier of course. It's worth noting that the adapter plate kit for these is a bit different due to the difference in input shaft length. So depending on the application you can choose between all of these. So how the adapter plate kit works? Again, as mentioned before, the advantage of this kit is bank for buck performance. We're using the complete clutch of the BMW. All of these are stock parts. So the clutch fork, the slave cylinder down there and everything. All of these are stock BMW parts. See, this is the slave cylinder right here. So at least with the ZF option, it's a clutch upgrade too, compared to the original Ford clutch. Now for the practical demonstration. Here's what you need to make it work. First comes the adapter plate. Plenty of mounting points for a solid connection. Then 
Then carrying on with the flywheel. We're using a complete BMW clutch, so we have to modify the Ford flywheel to accept the BMW pressure plate. That means drilling the holes for the mounting bolts and positioning pins. I highly recommend this operation to be done by a machine shop to ensure everything is centered. Once we have the holes sorted, we have to remove the original positioning pins. I found the easiest way to do this is just hammer them like so, a little, and then using a set of grips like these and just hammer away like so. Once the original positioning pins removed, we install the new bigger positioning pins and then mount this clutch plate spacer onto the flywheel. The BMW clutch fits perfectly. Note that the hole locations differ between some of the gearboxes. The flywheel is ready to install. In order to use all the bits from the BMW gearbox setup, we have to offset the flywheel a little to ensure proper clutch engagement. We're using this custom made flywheel spacer with integrated pilot bearing and this will go on like so. And now we can mount the flywheel. You could, of course, get a custom-made flywheel or something, but this solution works great. Keeping it simple, and for these engines especially, shouldn't be a problem, since they don't like to rev much past 6k mark anyways. I've been using the kit for two racing seasons so far without a single problem. Because of the flywheel offset, we need to move the starter motor too. That means we have to make some space for the original Ford starter motor towards the gearbox. We'll do that simply by cutting a little piece out of this bell housing here. So we'll take the adapter plate, mount it in position, here on the positioning pins, and here we can see how much they interfere. We'll just mark here, depending on which adapter plate you choose, and just keep cutting away. We got the original Ford starter motor here, and we'll just keep on grinding and cutting all until we clear the star motor here on the bell housing. A very simple solution, but it works great. Once the star motor is cleared, it will look something like this. This one is six speed. Here you have to cut a little bit more than on the five speed. But anyways, for demonstration purposes, we can bolt this thing together. Now we can install the friction plate and the pressure plate. We're using all stock BMW parts. And that's it! Now we can mount the BMW gearbox onto the Ford engine. So the gearbox is fitted and it looks awesome. Mind you, this one is a 6-speed ZF gearbox with the bigger offset. The 5-speed one has a smaller offset here. Now I'm simulating the clutch master cylinder with this hydraulic pump. And as you can see, the clutch works perfectly. I put it in gear and as you can see, it's holding real tight. As long as I don't close off this pump and just pump a little and the clutch is released here perfect once i let loose it grabs right back point of this adapter plate kit really is a bang for buck performance i'm sure it will come handy for many ford v6 engine projects eliminating the issues with the original gearboxes and offering a budget-friendly alternative. Needless to say, at least for now, this is a DIY kit. You will need to sort out the prop shaft coupling, which is a bit different on different gearboxes. You will need to make a gearbox mount of some sorts. Then you need to sort out the gearbox selector linkage. 
and of course a master clutch cylinder is needed on the car to drive the hydraulic clutch. But all of that is pretty easy to do if you're a little bit of a handyman, which I'm sure you are if you're still watching this, right? So that's it for this little presentation. If you're interested in a kit for any of the mentioned gearboxes, write me an email, tell me what you need and we'll sort you out. The kit includes everything you saw in the video, including bolt material, the dimensions for the flywheel machining, detailed instructions for the assembly and everything else you need. If you have any questions, concerns or ideas, feel free to ask in the comments. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this time. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Be good!